Good morning, everyone. Today I'm doing Wildflowers 101, episode 33. I'm in the fairy forest and we are looking at skunk cabbage today. Skunk cabbage nicknames are swamp cabbage, eastern skunk cabbage, clump foot cabbage, and meadow cabbage. Skunk cabbage is in the arum family. It is herbaceous and a perennial. It is the first plant to emerge in the springtime. The flower appears before the leaves. It's a molted maroon hood-like leaf called a spat that grows three to six inches, which surrounds a knob-like structure called a spaddock with oval clusters one to two inches. They are petalous flowers. Early spring, the spaddock is a greenish yellow color and it's enclosed by this brownish maroon color spath. It opens on one side. Through a chemical process, the flower can heat up to 59 degrees in the middle of the winter and it lets it burn through the snow cover. So on a really snowy winter, not like this year here in New England, but it is really amazing to walk through the woodlands and see this plant poking up through the snow. I mean, I really enjoy seeing that. Here's a good look at that molted color. It's very pretty. Wow, the birds are singing beautiful today. The blooms are yellow, green, purple to a brownish color, and they bloom February to May. The leaves have just been sprouting out in the last week or so, so these ones are really small. There's a couple good sized ones behind me, so let's head over there. The leaves are a rosette of basil leaves. They emerge after the flowers. They are green. They are two feet long by one foot wide. The leaves are smooth, veiny, toothless, hairless, somewhat heart-shaped. They can be blunt or pointed tips. Edges may be wavy. So this one is sort of heart-shaped and it is very, very smooth. The stems are green with a ridge going through it and they can grow to one foot high. The roots are rhizomes. The fruit, the spath withers away. The flower head develops into a round oval compound fruit. The flower will be two to four inches long and bumpy. It'll be dark purple and it turns black with maturity. There will be lots of seeds in the seed head. Habitat for the skunk cabbage are wooded wetlands, moist land growing along streams, bogs, marshes, and deciduous woods. So this is the habitat that I'm in. There's a little bit of a stream and they're growing along the edge. At some point this will fully fill in with all the skunk cabbage leaves and always is so pretty. Skunk cabbage likes partial sun to light shade. It can tolerate shallow standing water for a short time. Pollinators are flies, gnats, carrion beetles. Most herbivores avoid the skunk cabbage except for hungry black bears and snapping turtles in the early spring. Also wood ducks, grouse, Pheasants, quails will eat the seeds, as well as snails and slugs and certain moths will eat the leaves as well. Skunk cabbage gets its name because it definitely smells like a skunk. If you brush up against the plant and bruise it or crack the leaf, it definitely has a strong odor of skunks. I hope you have a chance to get out to see the skunk cabbage flower between February and May. It's really a cute, interesting flower. Well, this was a first. I sat down here to record the skunk cabbage. All of a sudden, this little tiny frog jumped out of it. Oh, I wish I caught it on film. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. Thanks for watching.